Greetings folks. Today we're going to talk about one major feature that popped up on the Votto Firmware 7.0 and that is called the VPN client. As you can see here in the menu there's a section called VPN. And basically VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And what we do is we turn this router into a client which will connect to a server, a VPN server, allowing you to create a, a virtual tunnel pipe from this router to that server and encrypting all the traffic that is being transmitted through them. So the Devato firmware 7.0 runs on these four routers, the Devato Tiny, Doma, Go, and Pro. And what we do is we'll log into the menu here on the Devato Go. And we'll go to the VPN section to the left. Here's some information on what a VPN client is. And in the PPTP section, because that's the protocol, VPN protocol that we support, point-to-point -point tunneling protocol it's called. So we'll enable the VPN client or PPTP client and create new profile by typing in a profile name. So we'll call it VPN and server has to be something valid. It could be either an IP address or the host name of the server. And I'll use a public one here in Sweden. Many people use. There we go. Username. And the password. There we go. Echo timeout and echo count, best to leave these as they are because that's what normally PPTP clients are set to. And the encryption, leave it enabled because many servers will reject any attempts from clients which don't have encryption enabled. Uh, so it's actually optional to have it enabled or not. Uh, I'll explain uh, why you want to have it enabled and that is uh, basically because of security for your own safety all your data that is being transmitted back and forth is is encrypted in real time and doing real-time encryption also has some penalties in terms of speed so the 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 88 or 150 megabits throughput that you know of in on the routers will be a fraction uh, when you do the actual encryption uh, for the clients that are going to be using it. And we set it as default profile. Also, encryption will incur a latency in, in transmission because every packet has to be encrypted and decrypted in real time. So add the profile like that. And now that that's been uh, saved to the router, uh, we'll proceed then to some of the extra features that are here. So here's some traffic rules. So for instance, if the VPN goes down, what will the router do? Will, will, it, will it allow all the traffic to pass anyway over the direct uh, internet access? Or will you set it to block so nothing leaks out outside the VPN? That you can define there. And then the advanced settings. Normally clients, VPN clients are set to attempt three retries in case of any failure. However, you can set it to unlimited. Don't set it to unlimited if you're not sure about your password because we've seen that uh, many VPN servers can uh, block your account if they keep uh, seeing that the same faulty password is trying to connect to the server. And then uh, here you have routing of internal services. So for instance, if, um, if you want, you can have uh, the embedded features such as NTP clock, DNS lookups, and live firm updates. Uh, that are embedded in the router, you, you can have them uh, do these lookups over the VPN connection as opposed to uh, the direct interface. So we'll click that here if we want, but I'm not going to do that. Forced VPN, this is a great tool because uh, you can say that you don't want the entire uh, network, uh, your entire LAN to be connected over VPN. So you can specify which IP addresses which computers should be using it. So I'll put number five here and I'll just add it there. 
Once I've added the first one, that means that all the rest do not use VPN. So it's great because you can specify, I just want these clients to connect over VPN and the rest do not have to. Uh, so that will bring great benefit because if you already have an 80 megabit 4G service, why limit it to only 3 megabits for the entire home if the VPN server is only handing out 3 megabits? So just save and restart. And from there on, you're connected over VPN as well as the direct internet, depending on how you uh, configure the setup. Thank you. Bye-bye.